can I do this? Do I want to do this? No. This bit is probably going to mess me up. I will try and use all my skill and strength to get through this, but that's not really saying much because I don't have a lot. This bit really, I hate this bit so much. Here we go. Okay. Okay, brilliant. Alright, I'm pretty surprised that I was actually able to do that. Right, that was... That just seemed to be so effortless somehow. Okay, save the shotty shells. And I'll get my handgun out. I'll get rid of this jabroni. There you go. Is he dead? He is now. There we go. And we'll go this way. We'll pick up some more goodies. We're going to start to pick up the plugs now anyway. As we approach the hour mark of this Let's Play. But I should mention that uh, when the cutscene kicks in or an FMV kicks in, it doesn't contribute to your time. So basically the game timer freezes. Um, so that's always good. Right. Oh, I know what's going to happen here. I'm not going to spoil it though. Right. We have the rook plug. Now, like Aswood, okay, uh, the liquor's not popped through the... Oh, a liquor's supposed to break through that mirror and it never happened. Yeah, it did before. I don't know what's going on there. But in any case, the red herb, we're going to pick that up and combine it with the green. And this will give us a super duper herb. There we go. I've got to put the red jewels in and I've got to get the crank as well when I go upstairs. Oh, so much stuff to remember. Right, let's go do this burner puzzle now. Number 12, 13, so it's always middle, right, then left. Okay. And then this heats up the room and it basically makes a cog fall off a picture. Why Leon can't pick it up on Alright, firstly stay calm. Yeah, it's only Mr. X. Again, you just gotta ignore him. I know it's like he's really intimidating, but trust me, it's better just to pretend he's not there and just move on because he's just there for intimidation purposes. If you try and pump him full of lead, you'll end up wasting more ammo that you don't need. You won't get as much back because he does drop ammo, so it's not really not really worth it really, I don't think. Just in my humble little opinion. Oh god, what a bastard. See that has gone for a double axe handle, so once you got to that. It's not as if he always follows you from room to room either. I mean that's kind of like a one-off. I will encounter him like probably one more time. Right, I need to get the red jewels, don't I, and all that, and all that jazz. Right, um... So now I can probably go into the library if I want to. Because we've done everything, so... I'm not going to go there yet, I just need to put the red jewels in and I'll pop into the library and I'll show you what happens basically. Why I, why I avoided the library. Oh Christ, I hate this bit. There's friggin' liquor up here and I can never never get out of its way. It's always there. Right, okay. There we go. Pop over here. We need to do two things now. We need to pick up the crank and we need to get the next plug. So, let's just do that first, let me see, um, um, yeah we can put the plug away, put the, that away, right, do I need shotty shells, yes I need shotty shells, um, red jewels, okay, it's going to be alright, okay, 
you know what, just in case, I'm going to take the small key. I th I've got a feeling I'm going to need it for later on, so I'm going to just pop one in, in my chest for later. There we are. Right, okay, good. Right, let's go and use those red jewels. Let's go get the remaining plugs. Let's do this, guys. That's what I love about Resident Evil 2. You can kind of do the puzzles almost in any order you want to. Um, I think this is probably the most effective I've ever played this game. Um, I've always sort of struggled uh, with the beast scenarios. I've always done it in kind of a clunky manner with not a lot of strategy really. And even though I was successful and still got an A, I just always felt like I could play better. Um, so yeah, it's like trying to visit this room sort of as less times as I need to so I think I've accomplished that goal right we got the king plug so we got two plugs and we just need to get the other remaining two and they're very easy to get but let's get the crank because that's the item I always forget uh, we need to go this way so you will recognize this from Claire's A scenario or Claire's B scenario this is where she met Chief Irons so, unfortunately, Leon never gets to meet his boss, which is kind of a shame, because I think they could have had some really good dialogue, but sort of different characters and stuff. So let's pop this way. Now, the crank is in the little box where Claire met Sherry. So, we will pick, pick that up. All being well. Okay, and through there and here and there we go. Beautiful stuff. Right, now you're probably going to guess what's going to happen when I try to leave this area, but I won't spoil it. Yep, he's back. Old Baldy himself. Mr. Johnny Come Lately, 1976. Oh god, he's really doing some damage. I can't get out of his way though. Oh god, what a bastard. There we are. That's why I took that herb with me, guys. Get out of here. Uh, shotty. Might as well get my shotgun with me. And get the remaining plugs. Oh, Jesus. This is so tough. Right. Now we need to head to the library and when we get there you'll see why I said to avoid it. I know I keep saying that but yeah it's really important that you kind of make sure the areas are as clear as possible before going to the library. Right so we've done that. I might be able to just bypass the liquor actually. I'm going to try and run away from him and run past him if I can. Okay that didn't work. Okay, move. There we are. Oh my god, that was close. Holy moly. This is what happens. Check it out. So, you can see the corridors are filling up. So this is where we've already been. So if we were to come here first, right, at the very start of the game, this is what would happen. The zombies will be piling into this area and it will be much harder to navigate. More challenging as well. So that's kind of why I did, did what I did. Right, we need to do the shelf puzzle. So we'll do that and then we'll uh, get the final um, get the final plugs. 
So there's two plugs we can actually get in this kind of area. Oh, for God's sake, Leon, stop fannying about. We do this. Alright, move. Okay, power switch to the left. Will you push it? Hell yes. Okay. Push the shells. There we are. This should give us the bishop plug. So that's the third plug. Now we're going to get the fourth one, which is just upstairs. And then we're going to head back into the police underground. Right, I'm hoping there's not going to be a liquor on the landing, because if there is, I'm not going to be very happy. I don't think there is, I think it's only with Claire, but you have to anticipate everything in this game. Yeah, we're, it's good, we're clear. Oh, thank God for that. Right. Now, what you want to do is put the crank in here. Again, you only use the crank once um, in this adventure. Leon will be using the valve handle most of the time. So, I'm just, I don't even know why the crank's in it. I think it's just like a homage to the first game. Okay, so, we've lowered some stairs. We need to go over here and we need to use these small cog. So, put that on. This will allow us to turn a machine, which in turn opens a door. Right, take the night plug, and we'll jump down the dust chute. Right, poor Ben, that's all I can say. And let's go and see what old Ben's got to say for himself. Hop through the door. Oh my god. And move this way. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <coughs> ben. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police and co-conspirator. Get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Leon. Where are you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! Man, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Right, it's boss time. 
or at least it will be, we need to go and prep uh, for the first boss. So to do that we need to head back into the sewer area we actually came to when we first entered the underground area and there's the one area with spiders in it and I'm not too worried because if I get poisoned there's a blue herb right at the end but I do need to um, make sure I've got enough herbs again for the rest of the game and also that I survived this boss because um, yeah it's kind of tough really <laughs> okay okay one spider I've avoided go wide and if I can avoid this one yes brilliant there you go perfect so the best part is I won't ever be going there again so let's pop in here let's get prepped for the boss very exciting times right I'm going to just make sure that I have my magnum I'm gonna make sure I need all the plugs have all the plugs I should say uh, let me see I'm gonna put my handgun away because it's kind of redundant at this point um, please can I have my magnum yes and my magnum bullets and I need herbs basically I've got so I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take that there you go should be all right with, with that right let's equip the magnum right let's go and kick some booty basically so it shouldn't be too difficult but you just never know I think the most difficult thing I, I say this every time is when you get into this room and you see the boss you need to line up and aim for him because if you don't then you're gonna waste a shot and he's gonna get a little bit ahead of you it's easy to think that you're in direct um, you know, you're directly targeting him right away and there we are check it out it's William Birkin so we don't face the offspring on the boost scenario it is in fact like he looks kind of like a super zombie first. so basically just oh my god try and keep it cool unnecessary gestures unnecessary gestures oh what's he doing yeah, he's gonna come at me right after getting right now here we go okay so just Make sure you turn your gun. There you go, got him. Boom, there you go. Didn't waste any herbs. That was surprisingly easy. Let's go put the plugs in. I'm quite surprised at how well that went, actually. So I'm actually ahead when it comes to herbs because normally I'd probably be using herbs right there and then but always take some with you just in case because anything can go wrong. And with that, pop through the door and it's time for to be reunited with Miss Ada. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere, not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon, I know. Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way for now. Right, so with that, we've got Miss Ada with us for a little bit longer, and she will provide gunfire support um, a, a, once uh, this next chain of events is over with. So it's very useful to actually have her with me. Okay, so we're going to pop into the save room. Now I think the best part about this is we can actually visit two save rooms on the B scenario, whereas we couldn't on the A scenario, so we can probably pick up double the items that we need. So we get to be in this room. There should be some herbs in here if I remember. No? Okay, no herbs. Um, right, I'm panicking a little bit now. Right, let me just try and dump some items. I'm going to just dump a double herb because I don't need that. I'm going to dump my magnum. Uh, okay, should be alright with that. Um, well, I need my handgun is the question. Yeah, I'll keep my handgun, handgun bullets right. I need the valve handle. 
It's always at this bit I start to freaking get a little bit confused. Right. Because I'm just so antsy, I just want to get through the game, and it's like, ugh. Oh. 